Okay, so we just finished off. Sorry, the last question was, um, we just found out the length will fit any squares in here, and it was 141.2135627. 6237 millimeters and that's how um, how long each of these triangles are so it's about 141 so that tells us that it's 140 I could get one wide and I can get oh well how many can I get up let's do it 841 divided by the 141 so 841 divided by that answer means I can get roughly 5.9. So unfortunately I can't get quite get a sixth one up. I can only get uh, I can only get five up. So that means I can get a row of five more squares stacking them on top of each other. So another I can actually fit. five squares in this gap somehow like that and that's rough but each one is two so that's another ten squares so that means a total the total I can make well what is the greatest number of these triangles being cut from a large rectangle bit well it's the total I can get twenty from the twenty from in blue just stacking them up in groups of four, but I can get five if I just have them in pairs up the side, so that's a total of 90. So the total is 90 triangles. Now, I don't really like this question, I don't think it's been phrased very well, but also I don't think it's been very well designed for an exam situation. But that's the kind of thing you would have to go about and do it. Check your understand how I use Pythagoras here, and um, yeah, make sure you've watched the first part as well.